Hi guys, my name is Albert and today I will show how to create an Excel project in Visual Studio Code. For that, we will use XVBA, an extension for Visual Studio Code. First, you have to install the extension. Click on Extensions, Views, Menu and install XVBA extension. I have already installed it here. Now, let's open and or cre let's create a new folder for our Excel project. Excel project. Let's open the folder. In Visual Studio Code. Here we can see that we have a new menu on Visual Studio Code, XVBA menu, a tree view menu with some buttons for work. First, until you click on these buttons and use them, we have to create a link with Visual Studio Code in Excel. For that, open the Excel, go to Options, and enable in Trust Center. We have we have to enable the macro for for Excel Run Macro on Open. We'll go to Macro Settings, enable these two options, then. Close the Excel and the link between Excel and Visual Studio Code are ready. Now we have to create our project folders. XVB came with this button for do that for us. Now we have our project folders installed here in our folder. Let's create an Excel file in this folder. Let's go to Excel, new file, and save this file in the folder that we create. For this video, we will use uh, this binary file enable for macros and I have to change this name for the default name for the XVBA. The default name for Excel file is index. We can change this name on the config file in Visual Studio Code. Now let's create the first VBA file here in VBA files folder. Let's create a module file test.bas the first line in the file has to be this line let's use these snippets from xvba for create the first line of code the vba name has to be the same name in the file name test this is a namespace used in excel oh there is a error here let's correct Correct. Now I will create a sub test, a message box test. That's B, B, A. And export this file to our uh, Excel file. Save and export. For export, just click on this button. Now we can go to Excel and check if the file, if the VBA file is exported to Excel. As you can see, here is the test VBA file export to Excel. Let's create another sub. Alert message alert and export again to Excel. 
After finish, you go to Excel for check and see if there is a new alert here. We can test this in Visual Studio Code by clicking in this alert in this in the tree view and select one of this so let's test let's run a code here as we can see code will be run and the alerts here click ok so this is the way to start to create excel project in visual studio code with xvba next video i will show how to to in, in improve this code with comments with packages xvba packages and other stuffs thank you